Congratulations on your purchase of the newest and most advanced hair replacement process ever available, System 3. System 3 was developed for men with busy lifestyles who travel, work unusual hours, live an extended distance from a good service center, or who just need the extra security of knowing they have the ability to choose the time and place with complete privacy, with or without someone helping, to take care of their hair service needs. By closely following the 10 easy to learn instructions in this video, you will be assured of enjoying the utmost in natural looks and ease of service that only System 3 can provide. We appreciate your business and are pleased to be able to introduce you to the future of hair replacement. Step one, the preparation. Before you start this procedure, please review this video at least two times. Also, we suggest that you get someone to assist you with your first service procedure. First, look over this list to be sure you have all of the items needed to complete the service before you start. Many of the items you will need were included in a package with the delivery of System 3. The second list will include household items not included in your package. If you need additional supplies, you may call us during office hours and we will ship by UPS next day. Please have your credit card ready when you call. Step 2. Preparing the hair system for removal. As a precaution, always choose a well-vented area to work in and never use any solvents or flammable materials near heat or flame. While standing in front of a mirror, begin by applying lace adhesive solvent or alcohol to a cloth or shop towel and dabbing the solvent onto the hairline. Continue this until the lace begins to loosen. Lift gently along the front edge until the front hairline is completely released from your forehead. After releasing the hairline, you may now remove the contour tape strip under the frontal area. Continue cleaning the excess adhesive from the surface of your skin. Starting at a corner of your hairline, use a comb to separate your growing hair from the replacement hair and secure the replacement hair in an upward direction in small one-inch sections using one of the special clips provided. The corner of the clip may also be used to separate the hair. The clip will lock into place by pulling the ends of the clip downward. Continue with one inch sections until you reach the back. Repeat this procedure starting on the opposite side and continuing to the back. Do not leave any hair below the edge of the base perimeter. Be sure to check the back which may need two or more clips. Also check to be sure all of the hair around the entire perimeter is secured. With the front hairline loose and clean and the hair around the entire perimeter clipped up away from your growing hair, you may proceed to step three. Step three, removing the hair system. Using the electric clipper provided, lift up the front hairline and begin in the corner using the tip of the blade against the base liner. Trim the hair loose from the hair system by slowly trimming small, one-inch sections until you reach the back center. Now move to the opposite corner and continue slowly until the entire hair system is released from your growing hair. Step 4. Cleaning your scalp. Apply a small amount of adhesive solvent to a cloth or shop towel. Then apply the solvent to your scalp in any area where you see adhesive or buildup from shampoo residue. Rub these areas gently. This will enable you to do a more thorough job of cleaning your scalp. After this procedure, you may now shampoo and dry your hair thoroughly. Step 5. Cleaning the hair replacement. Remove the hair clips from around the perimeter of the hair system. Starting in a front corner, peel the cloth liner away from the base perimeter. All of the residue may not release immediately, 
However, peel off as much as you can. Pour approximately four ounces of the adhesive solvent into a bowl and submerge the hair in the solvent. Allow it to soak approximately three minutes. Using a disposable shop towel, clean the base area by rubbing. The remaining residue from the liner should now remove easily. Be sure to also clean the lace area, rubbing gently, and or by using your fingernails to loosen the residue. After cleaning with the solvent, use a small funnel to pour the remaining solvent into the original container for reuse. Now pour approximately two ounces of lace solvent into the bowl. Place only the frontal lace portion of the hair into the solvent. Allow three minutes for the solvent to begin to dissolve the excess adhesive in the lace. Using the disposable shop towel, gently wipe the lace area to further loosen the adhesive. Again, using a small funnel, pour the remaining solvent into the original container to reuse. Place the air dispenser onto the nozzle of the compressed air can. Use the pressure of the air dispenser to blow out any remaining lace adhesive residue until the lace is completely clean. Add warm water to the bowl. Then add a small amount of dish detergent to the water. Mix the solution with your fingers and place the hair into the solution to soak for two minutes. Before completely removing the hair from the solution, lift it in and out, allowing the solution to run through the hair. There is no need to scrub. Now rinse the hair with warm water to remove all of the soapy water. Add fresh warm water to the bowl and then add a small amount of conditioner. Mix the solution with your fingers and place the hair in the conditioner. Again, allow the hair to soak in the solution for two minutes. Rinse the hair with warm water. If you choose to use a color conditioner for the purpose of color correction, repeat the previous step using the color conditioner the same way you applied the regular hair conditioner. If you have used the color conditioner, using cooler water will further set the hair for a longer lasting color. Place the hair into a heavy flat bath towel. Roll the hair into the towel and squeeze the remaining water out of the hair. Holding the hair from the end and swishing the hair will also remove more moisture. At this time, you may lightly brush the hair from front to back, brushing out any existing tangles and setting the hair up for your next step. Please accept our invitation to call any time during regular office hours if you have any questions or suggestions. Our number is 336-272-5454. Three, three, four, four. Again, thank you for choosing System 3.